What's up guys, Enos here again today, bringing you guys another Black Ops 3 video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video I put out yesterday, um, a little bit, uh, something a little bit different than what I've been putting up. Um, I will do my best to get follow-up steps for for uh, the Easter egg out whenever I can. I don't know, uh, I don't know when I'll actually make any more progress or if I even will, um, but I hope I do. I kind of know what I'm doing now a little bit more for those first few steps, so I should be able to get them done a little bit quicker. Um, but anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a good day. And this dude right there just got freaking melted. I don't know what he was doing, but he just choked. Um, this gameplay is probably my best gameplay to date. And there's the burnt camo I just unlocked. I can't even remember what that's for. You guys can uh, can look it up if you would like. That way you know, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but in this gameplay, I'm running the Weevil with no attachments, and I'm loaded up on perks. Um, and I'm actually using Heat Wave because I was working on the Fire Break uh, challenges as well. And Heat Wave was like the last... I needed like one or two more kills with the Heat Wave, something like that. But um, I'm running it with no attachments simply because... Uh, I'm trying to get gold camo on it, and I do believe I get it in this video, uh, which it will have to be sometime soon because I'm about to run out of bullets. But um, heck, I'm actually I think I already got it because I think I only needed four kills for the. I, I do remember I made a second class, uh, a second weevil class for this, um, where I had no perks and all attachments that I was going to use once I died because I only needed four kills with the uh, with the weevil with no attachments to get that camo. So I was going to switch it, have lots of attachments, no perks, and. As you guys will see in this game, I don't die. Um, I'm not going to tell you if I get the nuclear or not uh, until the end, because you guys will see uh, it's th this streak stretches for literally the entire game. So you guys will see if I get it or if I get close or whatnot. But uh, I'm just going to let you guys watch and enjoy while I talk about a couple of things. Um, one of them being that... Oh, there's the chameleon camo. I must not have got gold yet because there's that's what I was looking for. The chameleon camo was um, with no no attachments. Um, I think I got gold at the same time I got that one. But uh, anyway, David Vonderhaar put out a poll on a quote unquote poll on Twitter. Um, I don't know, sometime like this past week, and uh, he asked. If people would be okay with boosting the kill limit to 100 or if they should just leave it at 75 in TDM. Um, so basically they're just asking, I mean he's just asking, uh, is it okay if, or would you guys like us to do like Advanced Warfare did and knock the kills up by an extra 25? Um, now I don't know, really I don't think it really matters to me a whole lot. Um, I think 75 in, or 100 in Advanced Warfare really just changed the flow of the game way too much because people could get around the map so easily. If you locked down a certain area, because there was obviously not a whole lot that was really all that three lane, it was more like nine lanes because you had two and three stories to everything with three different lanes. Um, anyway. Uh, people just got around. There were so many places people could get around the maps that if you tried to lock down an area, you were just going to get somebody was going to come flying up behind you that you didn't even realize was anywhere near you, and they were going to kill you. And uh, when you were playing the 75, it seemed a little bit easier to just lock down your areas before people could figure out exactly how to counter your play style and things. And um, in TDM, I like to cut the map in half, basically, just kind of roam around on one half of the map, do my thing. Um, but I feel like on this game it would be a lot different because things are still extremely three-laned. Um, you might have a second story building every once in a while, but still, it's not that big of a deal. Excuse me. Um, but it's extremely three-laned, and I don't think it's really going to make that big of a difference. So to me, it really doesn't matter a whole lot. Uh, but I know to some people it would. Uh, I do think that this is going to be a change we're going to be seeing coming. I don't... Number one, I don't think he would just ask something that blatant and, and straightforward if he's not even considering it. But also, at the time that that I got information about about the tweet, uh, there were like sixty thousand votes out at the time that somebody or that I'd heard how many uh, people had voted. 
for what side and it was like 86 percent of people voted for raising it to 100 86 83 percent something like that i don't know out of like 60 or actually out of 60,000 people so i mean it's not going to uh it's not going to be drastically changed by just a couple hundred people voting um so i do think that we will see something change here in the very near future probably right around the time the first dlc comes out maybe a week or two after there you go guys 38 no and unfortunately i did choke the nuclear if i would have realized that i was so close i wasn't paying attention i didn't realize i was already on a 25 um when i called in my second wraith i wouldn't have because there were still like 25 kills left in the game and that would have given me plenty of time to get five kills i mean i was posted with that lmg that was a nuclear in the bag and i choked it but uh anyway guys i hope you enjoyed that let me know what you think about raising the kill limit and all that stuff in the comment sections have an awesome day and we'll see you guys later peace